I love being a married man. <laughs> Did I mention that? <laughs> My wife and I have three beautiful, wonderful, and amazing children at home. There's Jack, my eight-year-old. He's my stepson, or as I like to call him, my bonus child, because I love him as if he were my own. We have pet names for each other. I call him Jackaroo. He calls, he, he calls me, you're not my real dad. You can't tell me what to do. cute, isn't it? <laughs> then there's Robert. Now, Robert's my four-year-old. He's my snuggle bug. I don't think there's a night that I've spent in my house where that boy hadn't crawled in bed with me, put his cheek right next to mine, and said, I love you, Daddy. <laughs> He's so sweet. I bought him one of those little plastic lawnmowers a couple years ago. You know the ones I'm talking about. You push them, they make bubbles, make noise. His favorite thing to do in this world is to follow me around the yard when I'm going out to, you know, pay the lawn man. Um, <laughs> we're making memories, honey cut. <laughs> but then there's Meredith. Now, Meredith, Meredith is, she's my little angel. And you daddies who have little girls, you know. I mean, you love your sons, but those little girls, oh. Just something about them. I'm scared to death. <laughs> I've already made a list of the neighborhood boys. But no, I mean, she's, she's one, and she's not talking. I mean, she's saying, you know, the important words, like, dad, dad. But, um, but she doesn't talk, but we communicate. I mean, don't be fooled. We communicate, and I hold her, and I rock her, and I stare into those beautiful blue eyes. And one thought goes over, over and over in my head. Please, please, don't grow up to be a skank. <laughs> if you daddies with little girls hadn't thought that, you a liar. I mean, you do what you can. <laughs> Somehow they go astray. Now, when I got married and started having kids, it wasn't long be between the time I got married and I started having kids. Uh, it, it's a huge change, especially coming from where I came from. And so one thing that I do when I deal with change, the way I process change, is I write songs about it. I used to be quite the rounder Till that blessed day that I found her a wedding ring and a kiss and a short honeymoon. Sixty days and the stick had turned blue. <laughs> she told me it could take up to a year. She was wrong. <laughs> now my eyes are droopy and I'm cleaning up poopy and sleep is a distant memory. Can't play golf no more, buying huggies at the store, put formula in my coffee. Now I love my wife and I love my life. There's nothing different I would do. But now I'd give a million dollars for a day without hollers to, for a peaceful visit to the bathroom. I used to be so debonair, walking tall without a care, never had a single hair out of place. But now I'm singing wiggle songs, warming bottles all night long, wiping baby puke off of my face. My wife and my boys fill me up with so much joy, could not love them anymore. But now I think there'll come a time when I surely lose my mind if I see another purple dinosaur. We used to go to dinner and a show, candlelight and Merlot, then some smooching on the couch by the fire. Now it's chicken fingers, mac and cheese, kissing boo-boos on skin knees, peanuts out of nostrils with the needle nose pliers. I'm no longer in fashion, but brother, I got passion. Should write about us in Time Magazine. Call it one day in the life of a husband and a wife and the all-American family. Call it one day in the life of a husband and a wife, the all-American family. He, he, 